Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, double honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone, salutations to Akim, teach all truth and sincerity. Uh, this is your brother Shaquaya from Jimmy, Chicago. Um, this is a quick um, response or a quick um, sit down of uh, no, uh, no private interpretation of the Bible. Um, like these scriptures are not written by, um, it's not man's, you know, idea, you know, a man's idea is not in the scripture. Like all these scriptures were written by the holy men, which are the prophets, which are the so-called niggas, Latinos, and Native Americans, um, are the prophets, uh, you know, are the men of the Lord came, um, from the um, men of the Lord were um, the prophets, the, um, like uh, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, um, all these holy men that you know had books in the Bible or were written up in the Bible. Those are the ones that you know wrote and um, wrote the scriptures down. But they weren't moved by their own, you know, mind or their own thoughts. You know, the Holy Spirit came in and basically, um, basically uh, moved their um, their thoughts to write down this information, you know, so we could read about it, you know. Like all these stories were written by um, holy men. Like the first five books were written by uh, Moses, um, and Moses was a man that the Most High was dealing with, you know, uh, to bring the nation of Israel out of Egypt to help bring the nation. Of, well, basically, the Most High guided Moses and Aaron, but basically he got it. He used Moses. Most of all, to bring the nation of Israel out of, out of um, Egypt, get the nation of Israel out of Egypt. So uh, basically, holy men wrote these books, and you know, holy men, you know, you know, holy men was the ones that um, make sure these books were you know kept sacred you know so so um so um I'm gonna read first Peter's 1 and 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So basically, holy men, um, holy men uh, wrote these these scriptures down, and um, the Holy Spirit basically inspired them. You know, like I could think of like the Holy Spirit as a muse. Like a mute, a mu I can't think. I can't think. Yeah, I'm reading, but damn. I'm not trying to power you at all. I'm just saying. Be like, shh. Turn down. Little. Yes. I'm reading, I'm reading, but I'm also like trying, like. Okay, anyway, um. Anyway, um. Um. So, uh. Anyway, um. I think of the, the Holy Spirit as like a muse. Uh, like a muse was like a muse is used as like an inspiration. I think the word muse means like um, or like I think the word muse means like um, yeah, 
Cause I, cause I used to, um, means, uh, like a person, a person, a uh, person personified force who is a source of inspiration for creative artists. So basically, the Holy Spirit was an uh, inspiration for these men. Basically, inspired these men, told these men to write down these words and to write down to get these um inspiring um these uh important uh, important um scriptures to be written down and you know um you know for these um scrolls to be written you know so basically these men were basically moved by the holy spirit to write all this knowledge this information and this these scrolls and this this book for this bible for this book um so basically you know the holy spirit inspired these holy men to write down these words and this this um important um these the, the important of uh, all these books written in the Bible. So, um, I'm gonna go to two different examples of the Spirit dealing with holy men, and I'm just gonna read um, Ezekiel one verse three. Um, the word of Yahweh came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest. The son of Bozai in the land of Chaldeans by the river Kibar, Kibar, Chibar, and the hand of Yahweh was upon, was there upon him. So basically, the Most High came and dealt with Ezekiel. You know, you know. That the word of the Most High, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, or Yah the spirit of Yahweh, was upon Ezekiel, you know, expressly. You know. Uh, so, and I have another account of another example of the Most High dealing with um a man, of the Lord. Uh, this is. Jeremiah 50 verse 1 The word of that Yahweh spake against Babylon against the land of the Chaldeans by the prophet by, by Jeremiah the prophet so basically the Holy Spirit um <clears throat> the Holy Spirit uh, has is dealing with was dealing with both Ezekiel and Jeremiah at the time. Uh, Jeremiah prophesying against Babylon, and you know Ezekiel, um, Ezekiel, um, you know. Ezekiel in the land of Chaldeans. So, um, I hope this is edifying. Um, I know I was a little like long winded with my speeches, or I was talking too much with over expressing what my point, but basically, there's no, these scriptures are not of any private interpretation. Like, the spirit of, of Yahweh. Um and the spirit basically be how about Shinyal Shai the Holy Spirit basically resting on the men to write all this information down of uh, the knowledge of the ancient times and the times were coming in all the prophecies came from the the the, the from the Holy Spirit and it came from Yahweh. Uh it came from the Heavenly Father. And, and you know, it's, all these prophecies came from on high, 
So it wasn't all man's, you know, it wasn't man's knowledge, man's point of view, man's opinion. What, what's going to happen to the end of the world and what's going to happen, what's happening, what, you know, the time, like what's going on in these scriptures is not all man's opinion. So anyway, uh, I would say all praise and honor glory to you, okay. how about shot, double honors to the other apostles, great yeah. millstone, salutations to you, I can teach you all truth and sincerity. And I'm saying, Shalom. And I hope this is edifying.